Odell Barnes. 22-5. I guess, you know. What part of Colorado is that? That's my offer straight to y'all. Odell Barnes has gotten rich selling houses, lots and lots of houses, nearly all of them houses in foreclosure. 7500 A lot has happened since we first met Barnes last year, the man some call the foreclosure king. He was buying foreclosed properties in bulk from banks and selling them at big profit to investors from his front porch in South Carolina with his cell phone. All right, thank you. Bye. I do most of my buying from right here or playing around. I do whatever I want to do. If I want to go fishing, I go fishing. As long as I have a cell phone and a computer, I'm happy. If I don't catch this, they're going to keep doing it. Hello? But now the business has gotten too frenetic for that. Uh oh. Might as well get it. <laughs> they're just going to call back. Odell Barnes. When we caught up with him last week, yeah, his phone was still ringing off the hook, but he was off his front porch and sitting on the porch of this fire damaged house in Detroit. Here, foreclosures are rampant. What'd you just buy? Uh, nothing. Uh, they want me to go up a little bit, but we're not going to do that. Whole neighborhoods in Detroit are being hit, from mansions built in the 20s by auto industry executives like this one. Mitt Romney's childhood home, now vacant and a teardown. The house next door, though, 5,000 square feet, bought last year for nearly $600,000, now abandoned and for sale again for 999 to more modest homes that three years ago would have set you back about $280,000, now they're asking one-tenth of that. To working-class homes like these, homes offered to Odell Barnes in bulk that are going into foreclosure by the block. It's too big for me. It's outgrown me. I mean, a thousand houses a week, it outgrows you. Can't do business from your front porch like you used to, huh? No, ma'am. I've had to sit with you in Detroit. <laughs> you had, you Detroit is ground zero in the housing Detroit. crisis, but Odell Barnes thinks the way he does business it's could be a solution. Over the past year, banks and mortgage insurer Fannie Mae have been dumping ever larger pools of foreclosed houses on Barnes from all across the country. Homes that went into foreclosure owing thousands of dollars Barnes buys for pennies on the dollar and sells them to investors like Abner McWhorter of Detroit. The last thing I think we want with these homes is they get in the hands of, of landlords mm -hmm. and try to, if nothing else, rent them or mothball them until the market turns around and cash out. We really don't need that as a community right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's unreal? I asked him how many he bought in the package he bought this and how many was it? Uh, it was roughly over 100. Mm -hmm. And paid one hundred sixty thousand dollars. One hundred sixty-five thousand. You got a hundred houses in Detroit for one hundred sixty-five. Correct. Thousand right. dollars. Right. And how much did you get them for? Well, I add on five hundred a house. This was one of them. This is one of them. <gasps> it's a beautiful little house. This brick cottage on a quiet street, which once would have sold for about a hundred thousand, Barnes and his partners got it for about two thousand dollars and sold it for a thousand dollars down. Five ninety-five a month for a total of fifty-three thousand. First off, how we determine a house, the the price of a house is, when we, when my sign people get there, they ask the neighbors how much things rent for in that neighborhood. So, if the rent in that neighborhood is four hundred a month, our house payment would normally be two seventy-five. So it's less than rent. Barnes says he's selling at prices buyers can actually afford and he sells them fast. In the first week I own a house, I would like for you to have a 550 credit score. The second week I own a house, if you've got a job, I'll sell it to you. The third week I own a house, if you're breathing, I'll sell it to you. Because I want it moved. I want somebody in that house. Nadine Miller, a divorced single mother, overcame a lot of skepticism to buy this three-bed bungalow. $500 down. 295 a month. No catch. No catch. <laughs> <laughs> really? And it's your house. It's not, not rent. Not rent. Now she's a believer and has talked other friends into buying as well. Wow. Since a referral under the Odell Barnes method entitles mm -hmm. you to a free month's mortgage, Nadine doesn't owe another payment till next like November. When no, when I got it, a pit bull was living here. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was an eyesore on the block. As you can see, the rest of the neighbor's house are pretty kept up. So this was an eyesore for the block. So once I took it over, I made it a comparable or if not better looking. Exterior-wise and interior-wise, I got a lot of compliment. Barnes wonders why if he can do it, the banks and Fannie Mae can't do the same thing. Drop the amount people owe and keep them in their homes or sell the properties to new owners and keep the profit for themselves. I mean, there ought to be some in-between ground on giving the house away or, or uh, renegotiate with the people. Of course, I don't know if Fannie Mae can do that. Our business model is really to finance homes. We're not a real estate investor or we're not, and we're not a property manager. Stacy Stewart of Fannie Mae says by selling houses to people like Odell, they are keeping them occupied. It often makes more sense to sell them in a bulk sale process, again, to, uh, to an investor or to a state government or to a nonprofit organization who can really take on those properties. Preserving Detroit's neighborhoods is what brought Abner McWhorter into the business. I could have easily bought these homes and flipped them to investors and made good money. But I think by doing it the way we're doing it, we're making a great social impact. And is that what's more important to you? Ah, I want to make money too, but I also want to feel good when I go to bed at night. And I think I do that with this, this particular model that we have. What's scaring Odell Barnes now is that prices are down, quality is up, and he's buying houses everywhere. Everywhere. I used to, I would... If you said I'd like some houses in California, I'd say that's impossible. You were, you were mostly in Baltimore, Maryland, Buffalo, New York, the inner cities, the big cities. Not now. You can buy them everywhere. What I do on a lot of my houses like this, I will want them to pay me the 500 down, but I'll give them a year with no payments and that right. gives them money to get this going. This business has been very good to Odell Barnes. He's not complaining. But the avalanche of opportunity is overwhelming, even for the foreclosure king. Odell Barnes. This is Vicki Mabry for 97.5.